Hello everyone, I am Manali Reshamwala, Assistant Professor from LJ Institute of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to talk about types of muscle work. It is a part of syllabus for first year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University and the subject is Exercise Therapy 1. Let's see first what is work. Work is a force into distance through which force X. And the muscle work is intramuscular tension or tone that is a force and change in the muscle length that is the distance. So work is force into distance through which force works and muscle work is intramuscular tension or tone into change in the muscle length. So this muscle activity increases intramuscular tension and changes in the muscle length. The muscle fibers are contracted and relaxed during the muscle work that is change in the length. Types. The types of muscle work or muscle contraction are isotonic contraction, isometric contraction and isokinetic contraction. Let's see each one of it in detail with examples. First is isotonic contraction. Iso means equal and tonic means tone. By changing the length of muscle, and the same amount of tension is created through the contraction is said to be isotonic contraction. There are two types of isotonic contraction. One is concentric contraction and another is eccentric contraction. Concentric contraction, concentric means towards the center. It is also known as shortening contraction. The muscle is isotonically shortens to produce the movement. The proximal and distal bones are drawn towards the center, that means concentric. So normally one bony component is fixed and another will be moving to perform the movement. For example, we will see here, if the proximal bony component is fixed and distal bony component will be pulled towards the center, then the example is lifting the dumbbells. Here in the first figure we can see, a person is lifting up the dumbbell where a Flexors of the elbow muscles are contracting in concentric way where the proximal component that is the humerus is being fixed and distal component that is the forearm so that uh, insertion is coming towards the uh, origin. So this is the example. Next example, if the distal component is fixed and the proximal bony component moves towards the center, the example is in push-ups where opposite movement occurs. Isotonic contraction are used to build up the muscle power and muscle bulk. So use of concentric isotonic exercise is to build up muscle power and strength. So resisted concentric contractions are mostly useful to increase muscle power and bulk. Next is eccentric contraction. Eccentric means away from the center. This is completely opposite that of the concentric. It also known as lengthening contraction. Here the proximal and distal bony components are pulled apart from the center. So eccentric contraction lengthens the muscle and insertion of the muscle is pulled distally. The energy expenditure is in this contracture is very less than the concentric contraction so that is a benefit. Next is example of it which is, which is lowering of the dumbbell. In previous uh, slide, we see that th if we are lifting up the dumbbell, then that is concentric contraction. And if we are lowering down that dumbbell, then it is known as eccentric contraction of the same muscle, like the flexors of the elbow. During the lowering of the muscle, the flexors of the elbow lengthens to produce that movement. Normally, these eccentric contractions are assisted by gravitational force. The contraction occurs inside the muscle even though it lengthens. Isometric contraction, iso means equal and metric means measurement. Here isometric contraction there is no change in length but muscle tension changes. So intramuscular tension is created without changing the length of muscle is known as isometric contraction. There is no mechanical work occur. Tension is created but both the proximal and distal bones are fixed. We cannot see any kind of work being done like lifting up dumbbell or lowering down dumbbell. But will there will be a, a generation of muscle tone. So that is known as isometric contraction. These type of contraction are otherwise also known as static or holding contraction. And the example of it is 
holding a dumbbell we are not moving it in upward direction or down downward direction that is not a concentric not an eccentric but we are holding it in any position is known as isometric contraction so same muscle that is elbow flexors are working here isometrically another example of static contraction is in standing all the anti gravity muscles working isometrically to keep us straight in front of gravity isometric contractions are more easy and less energy expenditure contraction isometric contraction are uh, against resistance also can build up muscle power and bulk so there are two advantages of isometric ex exercises these type of isometric exercises can also be helpful for muscle strength less fatigability is also seen in this type of contraction so concentric contraction are usually the resisted concentric contraction are usually seen in any kind of physiotherapy clinic or gymnasium where we are planning to improve strength of the muscle eccentric exercises are usually performed to develop control uh, as the movement are performed towards gravity but with control we are lowering it down and isometric contractions are performed in any clinic where there is a weakness of muscle and we want to improve the strength gradually last contraction or last type of muscle work is isokinetic contraction iso means equal and kinetic here is means force in isokinetic contraction the velocity and speed remain same and the resistance is variable according to the resistance there will be increase or decrease in tone so in but this type of contraction of exercises performed with the help of equipment like bar dex cybex or thon kincom etc here in the figure we can see a person is work uh, doing knee extension in bar dex machine the speed and velocity is preset and the resistance is directly proportional to the torque produced by muscle that means whatever amount of torque generated by patient that much amount of resistance will be offered by machine the speed is constant if patient wants to increase the speed also it is not possible but if the patient offers more force the resistance exerted by instrument will also be more and if patient pushes less force then there will be res less resistance by the instrument so there are certain advantages of this isokinetic exercise one resistance can be applied at specific range of movement as we know there are the inner range middle range and outer range of the muscle and in the middle range maximum strength of the muscle or maximum efficiency can be achieved of the muscle while in initial and at the end of range the less efficiency can be found so if we are doing a uh, I, uh, any uh, concentric exercise suppose a concentric exercise of uh, elbow joint with 10 kg of dumbbell then in every range will get resistance of 10 kg and because of direction of it will not be able to feel the same 10 kg in every range but this machine can provide that kind of resistance in every range even in initial range and in end range so that is one advantage and the second advantage is if patient feels pain or discomfort he can stop the movement that is stop producing torque so machine will also stop producing resistance against it so this is a more safe exercise than isotonic exercises so here are the references for type of muscle work thank you